Hello everyone, welcome to NCS Tutorial YouTube channel. In this video, we will discuss the static structural problem and this is a very basic problem. And this video is specially for the beginner. So you can see the problem in front of you. This is the problem. A plate is there. The dimension of the plate is 60 mm into 40 mm and a hole is there at the middle of the plate, at the center of the plate. And we will apply 600 kilonewton load axial load okay and the thickness of the plate is 3 mm now open the ANSYS software ANSYS workbench software I have already opened in my PC and you can see that there are several options coming after opening this software but this is a problem of static structural so we have to select the static structural first now just double click on static structure and it will come on ma your main screen you can see that right now under static structural there are several options engineering data geometry model setup solution and result right so what is engineering data so before at the beginning of the problem you have to assign the material at which material your body is made Okay, for that engineering data section is there. Let me open the engineering data section. You can see that engineering data section. You can add any of the material you want. Okay, but in our software, structural steel material is already selected by default. Okay, if you don't want to change, don't open this engineering data section. If you want to change this, you can change from here. Right, clear? Now go to the project. In our case, our plate is made up with structural steel, so we will not change. If you want to change, you can change here. At this option, engineering data source, there are several, there are several materials you will get from here. You can add. Okay. In our case, structural steel is already selected, so we go to the project. Okay. Now open geometry because we have to draw first. We have to draw the plate and then only we can analysis the problem. So just double click on geometry. A new window is opening. Okay, it is opened. You can see that. So there are three plane, XY plane, ZX plane and YZ plane. Okay, select any of the plane. I am selecting XY plane and this is a 3D interface to convert it to the 2D. We have to just click this option look at face option it will convert your 3d structure to 2d structure that's mean the xy plane will be there in front of you just click on it okay step by step now go to the unit you have to mention the unit first so in our problem it is millimeter so we will select millimeter okay now see the problem a plate is there so you have to draw the plate first and the dimension of the plate is 60 mm by 40 mm so first draw a rectangle of 60 mm by 40 mm then we will create the hole okay now go to the sketching you can see that there are several options click on rectangle now this is the rectangle I am drawing okay I have already drawn a rectangle right now go to the dimension click this and click this you can see that the dimension is coming h1 and v2 this is vertical length and this is the horizontal length just change it just click it and type 60 Press enter and the height of the plate is 40, right? So type 40 and enter. Okay, so we have made a rectangle of 60 by 40 mm, right? Now we have to create the hole. So how can we do that? We have to find out the center point of the plate. For that, go to the draw section. And here is our option called construction point. 
click on construction point and place it anywhere between the rectangle within the rectangle place the point anywhere now go to the dimension and select this point and this one you can see that and select this sorry okay now select this point and this side of rectangle right this l3 and l5 is coming so this length of the rectangle is uh, 60 so the points would be at 30 mm, 30 mm distance right so just go to the l3 and make it 30 enter and this is 40 so this must be 20 so make it 20 and enter okay so this is nothing but the center of the circle now go to the draw and click on circle right this is the center point and make any circle and again go to the dimension and go to the diameter click the diameter and click the circle you can see d6 is coming so d6 in our case the diameter of the circle is 20 mm right so we'll make it 20 type 20 and enter okay so our sketching is done now click on generate okay so our sketching is done but this is a 2d drawing we have to convert it to a 3d plate so how can we do that for that just click the option extrude click the option extrude right now see here it is asking for some geometry so in our case we have drawn it in xy plane just click this plus sign and select this sketch one because we have already generated the sketch one right now click on apply this sketch is applied for extrusion purposes right now what is the length what is the depth of extrusion that is nothing but the thickness of your plate right in our case it is 3 mm so just type 3 and enter okay now click on generate you can see that a plate is generated a 3d plate is generated having a hole at the middle of the plate right okay now go to the main tab you can see the geometry a tick mark is coming so the geometry part it is done now double click on model it will take some time to open please wait okay it is opening okay you can see that the plate our geometry part it is done and it is opened in model section now the first thing we have to do this we have to mesh this for any analysis meshing is necessary what is meshing meshing is nothing but the whole body is subdivided into a very small small body a grid will be generated for any analysis so just click on mesh and click on generate right you can see the grids are coming okay it has came already so the meshing is done right now go to the static structural now see the problem first one end of our plate is fixed and another end 600 kilonewton load is applied so to do that to do that go to the static structural go to the insert and click on fixed support one end of our plate is fixed so just click this surface and tap on apply you can see that fixed support at this surface we have assigned this surface is fixed right at the opposite of this surface 
we have to apply 600 kilonewton load so again go to the static structural and again tap on insert and go to the option force click okay just select this surface okay and apply okay now see here force you can just select component so that we can assign the force in x y and z different component as we want in our case you can see that the force is applied axial load that's mean this positive x direction so leave the y and z and just type 600 kilonewton 600 kilonewton here the unit is in newton so i am putting this okay so see this so the 600 kilonewton load we have applied on this surface right so one end is end is fixed another one end the 600 kilonewton load is applied if you want to apply the load at y direction you can do that from here if you want to apply the load at z direction you can do that from here okay so anything if you want to apply some compressive load then just put minus sign okay it will apply in negative x direction it will be applied okay okay now go to the solution and just right click insert and these are the option these are the solution you will get so just we are clicking deformation total deformation we want we want some strain we want some equivalent stress okay if you you can select anyone i am selecting these three and just click on solve the problem will be solved in few seconds okay it is solving okay now you see the right tick mark is coming okay it has came already so that the problem is solved just click on total deformation now you can see that the deformation of the plate okay the total strain of the plate and equivalent stress von Mises stress of the plate okay total deformation this one okay if you want to see the animation just click this option you can see that okay If you want to have a smooth image, just click this option. Okay. You can see that. The total amount of stress you can also see. Okay. You can see it. And the maximum and minimum value of uh, stress, strain, and deformation is also there okay you can see it okay if you have any query any question feel free to comment below thanks for watching this video bye bye